Hey guys, what's up? Um, first of all, thank you so much for the comments. I got on my YouTube, which I don't get to do too often, and I seen that I had almost 100 views on the SNES Classic video. Super awesome. I can't believe 100 people watched it. And most of all, I had some comments. So this is exactly why I do them. Um, I like to talk to you guys about stuff, whether it's a negative thing to say, uh, positive, funny, whatever. I love it. So when I get lots of comments, um, I'm going to do follow-up videos like this. So I'm going to read the comments, and then I will answer them the best I can. One of them is very lengthy, so I'm going to kind of answer as I go. The other two I can answer normal. I got three comments on here that I'm going to do. The other ones I think I commented on, and that's what we're going to do here. Another thing, when I don't get back to you very quickly, I know one of these was like three days ago, and some are even more than that. I don't have a lot of time during the week especially. I'm working like six days a week right now. Uh, it gets pretty crazy at my house, and even when I get home, my kids sometimes are up. I walk in the door, and my one-year-old wakes up like that. So I'm already tied up. I don't really have time to always do this stuff. That's another reason why I just do something like simple, like record on my phone. You might wonder why it's such low quality, why I just throw them up there. Because I don't have time, man. I wish I had time to sit there and devote stuff to it and make really cool videos and do all the editing that everybody else does. I don't have time for that. So, um, everybody's life's different. But I love that you're commenting. I think it's so cool. Um... Looking at that um, made my day. Uh, looking at it and just seeing like a hundred people watch it, I, I know it was close to a hundred. That 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 blows my mind. That's really cool. Um, because I just sit here and put these together, and uh, you guys doing that's really awesome. So, let's get on with it. First one <clears throat> is a guy by NES Addict. I'll say this: with all the SNES Classic videos on YouTube, they are getting tons of free advertisement. It's not that they need that kind of advertisement, but this has to be way more advertisement than they can pay for. I wish we could cut the middleman and buy the SNES Classic directly from Nintendo. That would be ideal. If they just took pre-orders themselves, if they took, just took pre-orders themselves. I also was lucky enough to secure one at GameStop. Um, I totally agree, Addict. Um, like I said in my video, uh, if you guys go back and watch it, I said in a perfect world... We would all be able just to get one and just pre-order it and they'd get the number from all of us. I told you that I, I wish they would do that, but that is not the way the world works, <laughs> especially in business, especially big businesses. That's just not the way it works. So, um, like I said, Nintendo's working on a lot of things. Uh, it's not even an opinion. I actually read on a website, which I should have got the information on before I made this video. Um, Reggie actually was going with exactly what I said, and he released it um, when they asked uh, a website asked him about the NES Classic and why they stopped uh, building it. He actually released something along those lines, saying, "Yes, we're building a 3DS, 3DS XLs, 2DSs, the Switch, uh, that." Possible, or the NES Classic, SNES Classic, possible, he didn't say it, but N64 Classic. I'm sure it's in the making. Um, a, lot, a lot going on. They only have so much manpower. They only have so much stuff to do. That's my opinion. So, thank you for your comment. Let's get to the next one. This is the lengthy one. Um, so I'm going to answer this as I go. I hope I answer it uh, the best I can. I'm going to try. I love Nintendo products. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's from a guy named Astonishing Red. Thank you for your comment, because it's really long, it's really awesome. I love Nintendo products, but not so much the company as a whole. Nintendo is more concerned about their brand than they are their customers. And by the way, I knew you had reserved one before you even mentioned. Like, I was literally sitting there waiting to hear it. And there were plenty of people who experienced a great deal of crap to get one who made videos criticizing Nintendo. So the angry vids aren't from just people who didn't order. This video would have been a completely different theme if you were one of the many who pre-ordered got cancelled. I'd almost like to see that happen to you so we can see an angry follow-up video. 
but I wouldn't wish that experience on anyone. I get it, dude. You are invested in Nintendo. Okay, I'll answer this. Um, you're not happy with them, the company as a whole. They're more concerned about their brand. I don't really think they're really concerned about their brand as much as they're concerned about making money. I think it's very much not paid attention to enough of, I don't care what you're making in this world, whether it's any kind of food, whether it's any kind of car or video game system or phone or anything, it all comes down to money. It's not about necessarily making you happy. They're going to try to make you happy. All these companies are going to attempt to make you happy. It's about making money. Period. And I'm okay with that. I understand that. Because if I owned a company, if I were them, that would be my mindset too. Um, I want my company to grow. I want my company to keep going. And it's not always about what the people want. It's not. Because sometimes people don't know what they want. They just, yeah, they want this NES Classic that they're making for, you know, they're selling for $60. But after they pay all their people and all their contracts that they have out, who knows, they probably have a contract for shipping to the United States. Um, they could probably ship so many units, and it costs them who knows how much money. They got to pay Konami. They got to pay Capcom for the games that they have on there. They have to pay manpower. There's a lot of things that go into that. And I'm sure at the beginning of the project, they had this goal. And it's not as easy as, let's just get everybody one. It's, it's not that simple. Could they do it? Yes. But then they could potentially, who knows, they might lose money. They might lose money because they're not working on a bigger project, like the Switch, where they're selling it for $300. It's more important. That's flying off the shelves, too. Let's worry about that. I'm sure that's what they're thinking. Um, and there are plenty of people who experience a great deal of crap, blah, blah, blah. This video would be a completely different theme if you were one of the many who pre-order got canceled. That, my friend, you are wrong. Um, this is not to sound cocky, this is not to sound stupid or anything. Um, let me tell you the story real quick. I'll try to wrap this up quick. Um, the night of me getting my pre-order, first of all, leading up to it, I not once looked online to see when pre-orders were going to be. Because I really didn't care. Um, I think it's super cool. I think the system, the NES Classic, I actually have that too. <clears throat> Only because of my wife. I didn't get it. She did. Um, I think it's super cool. But at the end of the day, it sits on a shelf at my house. Um, I have an actual Super Nintendo. Um, I have an actual Nintendo. I have an N64. I don't really need this system. I have a majority of the games on it. Star Fox 2 is the only thing I was kind of like, mm, man, it'd be really nice to have because I want to play Star Fox 2. And I'd rather not play a pirated version because I'd rather play the actual one. The thing is, though, rumor is, it was going to come out on the Switch for download later anyways, which it probably will. I would just have done that. Or if it didn't happen, I would just not have played it. I mean... Look at all this shit. I haven't played it. I don't have time. I'm working. <laughs> so I got lots of time to try to knock this shit out before I'd be worried about that. <laughs> so um, I'm not trying to sound stupid or anything with uh, trying to sound cocky like I got everything. I don't. But I've got 90% of what's on that. And I honestly got everything I want. Um, I actually just came up on an Earthbound. Uh, my buddy actually just gave me one. So that was another game that's expensive that I didn't have. I had a buddy give it to me. So um, that's not even on the list anymore. But I will still play it on the SNES Classic because it gives me a reason to. I literally have to find a reason to play that thing. Um, I think it's super cool. I think it's awesome. But the how I got it was my buddy texted me because he has an app that apparently gives him a notification that... Um, that they're going on sale, and he has a list of items on there. He got a switch the same way. Uh, he texted me with a link to Best Buy. Hey, Dan, I heard these are going on sale right now. Okay. I was getting in the shower. I clicked on it. 
Um, it let me through. I put in my information, and I got it. Not very interesting. So, um, if I wouldn't have, I wouldn't even care. I would just say, damn, that sold out quick, and that's probably about it. Um, I would not pay three or $400 for it that they're going to be scalping. I already seen them up on Craigslist. That makes me sick. Um, if I knew the right little kid that wanted one, I would sell him mine for $80. Um, I don't need it. It's going to sit right up there on my shelf where my classic NES is. It's sitting in a box right now. Um, so that is extremely not true. Um, let me keep going here. But there are a lot of people who didn't get a chance to own an SNES just due to the financial circumstances when they were kids, and this was their chance to finally get to play some of those games. <clears throat> okay, that doesn't make any sense, man, because uh, you can go buy a regular Super Nintendo right now for, I don't know, I see them sold for $30. That's what I sell them for if I ever come up on them. Anymore, I give shit away. So you could play it for cheap. Oh, you couldn't play with all those games, though. So okay, I give you that. Yeah, because you're getting a bang for your buck for eighty bucks. That's for damn sure. So I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, it would be cheaper to go that route because you have fucking like Earthbound on there and shit. So I understand that. Um, that's too bad if somebody didn't get to play it. That fucking sucks. Um, Nintendo knew the demand would be very high. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I think they know that. I told you that. I think they know that. And it's not that they don't want to give you. It, it's that it's probably not beneficial. They're going to make more money doing something else. I think that's what the problem is. And I'm sorry. If you don't think that's how a business should run, you're nuts, dude. Your business would go into the ground. You have to care about money. You have to stop caring about people's feelings all the time. And sometimes if you're making more money selling this, and this is selling, you need to sell this, being the Switch. If you're selling that for $300 a pop, I don't know what they get out of it, but they're getting a lot more money than they're getting for what they sell for the SNES Classic. They're probably getting like $30 per unit, if that, for an SNES Classic. I mean, they're probably getting next to nothing. Why do you think they're made so cheap? Have you felt one of those yet? Did you feel the NES Classic? It's a piece of cheap plastic. Why do you think that is? Because, man, they can't put any money into it. they got to make it for as little as possible because they sold it for $60. After they pay everybody, they're probably getting next to nothing for the fucker. So, of course, they got to make it cheap. I mean, duh. Why do you think the Switch, the dock, is so cheap? Everybody talks about the plastic being so cheap. Because it's the cheapest fucking system. That's why. Because it's not $500 like the fucking PS4 was. That's why. It's $300. It's affordable. That's why. So you can't have your cake and eat it too, man. You know, that's the way it works. I mean, I, I, that, that's what's, I'm getting frustrated. That's what frustrates me. People want to dog it all the time, but it's the cheapest one. If Nintendo was selling it for $500, then bitch all you want. Because if it's selling this for the same amount as the PS4, the PS4 should be better quality. It's fucking $200 more. Duh. That, that's what I'm not understanding about people. It's common sense. So anyways, as they saw as a child, like I said, it sucks if people didn't get to play it. Yes, it's terrible. Um, I was one of the few pre-order who got canceled. That was fucking bullshit. I don't think that was Nintendo, though, bro. That was Walmart. They're fucking retarded. Um, but that, fortunate enough to land another pre-order, good for you, at GameStop. It felt like a freaking war to get a pre-order. I must have just got lucky. Mine was a, a point I clicked, and then I filled out some information. Matter of fact, I already had an account on the Best Buy, because I'd ordered before. And I clicked like fucking five times and I got it. I mean, seriously, I'm not, and I'm not being an asshole. I'm not trying to be. I really do emphasize with all those who won't be able to pre-order due to scarcity. Yeah, it sucks, man. It does. It sucks. I, I can tell you'd be pissed. No, I wouldn't. And Nintendo wouldn't care even if you sent multiple pictures of your Nintendo-themed bedroom to them to show your loyalty. Who cares? It's not about loyalty. It's about money. So I'm sure they would think it's real cool. But, uh, I mean, yeah. So what are they supposed to do? Send me a bunch of, send, give me everything free because I have a bunch of Nintendo stuff? I mean, it's just not the way it works, man. It, 
I, and I'm not, I'm not butthurt about that. I don't get upset about stuff like that. It's just that doesn't, that's not the way business works. My whole, whole point is people have a right to be angry. I don't think so. I, I understand why they're angry. I don't think they have a right to be angry. Sony and Microsoft, as bad as Microsoft is doing in the console market right now. Sorry. Lost my spot. Multiple pictures of your Nintendo. If you've been in my whole point is people had to be right to be angry. Uh, would never do this to their customers. I doubt that. Um, no, they just make a shitty system and give you a red ring of death. Um, everything is entitled to their opinion, but sometimes you just gotta call a spade a spade, do. Yeah, Nintendo doesn't care. I don't think it's that Nintendo doesn't care, I think they just care about money. And I think everybody does. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. Um, with the Sony and Microsoft, I can't say that. One thing I will say is... Um, I've had PS2 shit on me, um, when I, back in the day when I bought PS2s, they shit all over me, and I paid $300 for each one, and the lens always went out before the Slim came out. I bought an Xbox, and I got, like, three or four red rings where I had to go get a new one. Uh, I had a PS3 that had the yellow light that went out, I had to go get a new one. All shit on me. Uh, I can't tell you the last time I replaced a Nintendo product, and they're all cheaper. Um, pretty crazy. They build pretty quality product. Um, I don't, I don't really have a problem with them. Um, that's part of the reason why I love them so much, man. Their shit works. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think I answered you the best I could. I know I went a little off there. Um, I just disagree with you, man. Um, I, I mean, obviously I don't know you and you don't know me. I wouldn't be upset. Um, I, I, I really, honestly, I, I can tell you wholeheartedly, I'm a pretty honest person. I, I don't, I wouldn't have cared if I would have got it. I would have said that sucks. That, that stinks, man. I hope, I hope I can get, a, I hope I can get one sometime, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress about it, man. I mean, I'm not paying $300 for one. I'm not paying 250 for one. I can tell you that, but I mean, my wife got me my NES classic. I told her I didn't even care and she gave it to me for Christmas. Uh, I came out at like October or something like that, and I got it at Christmas time, and I was really grateful. It was really awesome. I think it was really nice for her to do, but I wasn't trying for it. I didn't even try for the NES Classic. My wife got it. I mean, I didn't really. I thought it was super cool. Um, I thought it was super neat to have up on the on the shelf, um, which is where it sits. I played it a few times because I was traveling, so it was convenient to bring. Uh, but that's about it. So next, uh, last question, because the video's getting long, sorry. VIP design. Maybe more interest qu interesting question is, could Nintendo have sold, example, NES Classic for $500 for retail and people still going crazy about having one? When they sell it for $50 and people reselling them for $500, I'm sure that pisses them off. If you, if you get to buy the system for $50, you feel like you own a $500 worth of a system. That's correct. And that makes the system feel more and more special to have. Well, I'm not sure if that's why people have it. I think that's what you're saying. Um, I don't feel like... I mean, I think it's stupid that I own a $250 Classic NES Edition. I think it's sick that people are paying it. And like I said, if I met the right person, I'd sell it to them for $60. Bucks, uh, like a kid or something. Um, I think you're, you're, you're on the money, though. I, I don't think Nintendo likes it that you're making $500 off their $60 system. But I think they knew that was going to happen. There's nothing they can do about it. I mean, look what people were doing with Amiibos. They're fucking selling them for for a hundred. Like that gold Mario I seen one time on eBay for like a hundred dollars. Jesus Christ! Somebody bought that in the store for fifteen bucks. So um, I'm sure they know that's going to happen. Um, there's nothing they can do about it. Um, that's another thing everybody says. Oh, you know, they work on Amiibos too. Everybody, oh, they starved the community of Amiibos. Bro, they didn't starve the community of Amiibos. They probably just had trouble keeping up with demand. They only have so many people on the project. They only have a team of this. And I'm telling you, look up that website. It might have been IGN. And um, they Reggie was talking about how um, a lot of times, uh, the, one of the main reasons was they were working on so many projects. And in parentheses, it has listed all the ones I'm saying. So, um... 
that's about it. Um, thank you so much for the comments, though. Even negatively, I, I love it, guys. You're, you're all awesome. I really appreciate the time you took. Um, I forgot his name. Addict or something like that. That's really cool, though, um, that you type that much, man. I appreciate that. That's, that's fucking awesome. Um, you're the kind of guy I'd be on the phone with or be at work with arguing. <laughs> so, don't get me wrong, I got friends like that. Um, another thing. A lot of times, if you guys want to stay in tune, no, I'm not just trying to get people on it. If you look up DNDenny29 on Instagram, I just gave away some stuff on there. I gave away Castlevania Bloodlines, Ghostbusters <coughs> on the Genesis, and Hyperstone Heist Ninja Turtles on the Genesis. I like to help out once in a while. Um, if I come up on stuff, I give away shit. I literally send it to you. Um, it's no kind of stupid shit. Um, I just give it away. You can actually still see my post on there. I'm going to be doing that again soon because I came up on some stuff for really cheap. And when I get it for really cheap, I'm just going to give it away. Because I think that's what we all should be doing. I think we should help each other out. We're all collectors. We should all help each other. So um, go to my page. If you want to follow me, that'd be fucking awesome. If not, check in. I give away stuff. So um, once again, I'll be doing this if we uh, have more of a of a turnout on, on any more future videos. Keep commenting. I love talking to you. I will do it when I have time. That's that's the uh that's the fight. So I will talk to you guys later, man. Thank you.